the hunt for internships uh, started around uh, around 2016 january so all of us uh, were uh, were uh, searching for our internships through the college as i wanted to do something slightly different uh, i approached uh, professor fredrik janti to ask him uh, regarding any internship opportunities uh, that he could help me with in france so finally after a couple of meetings uh, i we finally zeroed uh, zeroed down my opportunity in uh, central suplek in metz i definitely believe that uh, professor janti who forwarded my resume to his colleague um, and my mentor professor rajin yol at uh, suplek I was offered a research internship program uh, wherein I I worked in the IMS laboratory at a uh, Central Suplex Metz so IMS stands for information multimodality and signal so the research team there mostly works on uh, applications of uh, artificial intelligence in uh, sig- on signal processing and parallel computing the domain I worked in was uh, primarily artificial intelligence so we used a uh, machine learning techniques to classify uh, genders when a large corpus of uh, speech samples were given so support vector machines were used for the binary classification or, uh, or gender recognition uh, for a variety of speech samples so this experiment was uh, conducted with both english and french language database in terms of learning I got to learn a large number of concepts which I was not introduced to earlier so I I could basically learn many new concepts in signal processing and also I was exposed to machine learning and its real time applications in research so I believe that this is a very enriching learning experience Metz uh, is a very vibrant student town uh, housing a large number of international students thanks to a la- uh, thanks to the large number of higher educational institutions so every tuesday evening there is a cultural and a language exchange event called uh, cafe de langue which means uh, language cafe so people all over come and uh, meet one another and speak to one another about their cultures and they just have fun hanging around so in that way it was really cultural immersive in in the truest sense the main takeaways uh, from this internship program were uh, i was exposed to the research world and how it actually works and uh, in uh, so any research experiment starts with procuring the correct data for your experiment formulating a hypothesis running the experiment uh, ex- uh, deriving the results and finally generalizing the results so i was exposed to all these aspects of uh, conducting research so in this sense this is my major takeaway uh, pertaining to the non academic part living alone and independently in a foreign country for the first time uh, was actually very encouraging uh, i think this experience would go on a long way in my career so the advice i'd like to give my juniors or the wanna be interns at MEC is that the world is changing at a very fast pace and uh, most of us even including me were are actually worried but the only thing we can, we have in our hand is time so we just need to make best of our time and just grab an opportunity when it is your way you need not overthink or overdo things just take things as they are The main challenges that I faced were academic and cultural challenges. Academic challenges are easy to be addressed because you just need to put your mind in and spend some time with and they're okay. But cultural shocks and cultural challenges are something you need to spend time with and get habituated so that you can live your life easily when when you're there. So one important takeaway from this experience was uh, your knowledge of French language is very necessary. to survive in France because people do not speak very good English outside of campuses and yeah this is something very useful